he's back with words to spare, both on the world at large and politics of a personal nature. Please welcome, on the heels of a sold-out show at Massey Hall and today's release of Hospital Music, Mr. Matthew Good. Thank you very much. I've never heard an album begin with uh, with such a uh, basically uh, a popping of a vein of cutting oneself. Uh, it's called uh, Champions of Nothing, and I just want to so we can all get on the same page. Adam, just please let's listen to the beginning of this brand new Matt Good record, Hospital Music. Mr. Rocket. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait a second. Rock and roll, rock and roll. That's poison doing rock and roll all night. Sorry, rock and roll. <laughs> Uh, all ki- <laughs> Damn, you know, I was thinking I was cool again there for a minute. <laughs> all kidding all kidding aside, uh, and, 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 and I know if you weren't prepared to deal with this openly, you, you wouldn't have based the, the record about it. A personal nature, a personal incident to, to those who, who might have not uh, read the reviews or anything. The nature and the background of this record. Um, well, it was kind of a, a year uh, of uh, really avalanching incidences let's put it that way i got divorced my best friend's dad got terminal cancer um and subsequently died from it and then his mom got cancer and um i had a nervous breakdown and uh then i was finally hospitalized and found out that i had suffer from bipolar disorder which makes for great art. Basically, basically yeah, there uh, you go in a nutshell. Uh, the qu- the question being, I, the only thing I didn't do is go to the moon. <laughs> Are you sure? I think that's track seven. Yeah, actually. I think that is. Uh, um, the question being then was was making this record cathartic. Then obviously for you, Did, was it healing? You know what? It was unconscious. Actually, you know, because it was. <clears throat> I don't know. It was kind of. I I think I went into the process thinking that it would be. But because I was producing it and I played up pretty much everything besides the drums, I really didn't have time to give it much thought, right? So it was just a kind of get up at noon. And I live right across the street from the studio. Right. So me and Rod would just, of course, you know, we'd, we'd battle our way through that rush hour traffic. <laughs> and uh, we'd, get in, we'd get next door. And, uh, you know, we'd spend 14 hours working. And um, I'd go home at night exhausted and collapse and get up and just do it again. So Now... After you were done and you 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 stepped away from the record a bit and then you listened to it and then you had to do, like deal with the process of putting it out. Was there ever anything? Oh, you know that was that was that, I did that. But now uh, if I yeah. sat down and redid the record now, it would be the whole mindset would be different. Well, I don't know that the mindset would be different per se, but I think that there is material on the record that's of a really personal nature to do with personal relationships, and I had to. I had to give it, you know, a considerable amount of thought as to whether I, you know, really wanted to include it. Ultimately, it was a, it, it ended up being a very easy decision because I mean, how can you betray that? You know, sure. the fact that you wrote at the time it meant something at the time. It means something now, and within the context of the record, it fits perfectly. But you know, there's you always have that that tiny bit of apprehension, especially with with a work that's that personal. So. Matthew Good will be back in October. I will give up the... I would like to talk more. He has limited time, and he wants to spend some time with you. So I want to play track three, okay? Uh, mental Airplanes. Uh, we'll mental. S- metal. Mental? Well, look how small look it is. Look at you. you just been listening to too, he- too much heavy metal. You're right. Today. It is metal. It should it be metal? <laughs> well, I figured, well, I figured metal, given the theme, it was mental. Mental you know, Airplanes. Makes sense. Okay, make the, make the printing bigger next time. Make the printing bigger. <laughs> New glasses for Bookie. Um, mental airplanes. Metal airplanes. <laughs> uh, sold out Massey Hall, but you'll come back and maybe you'll, in October you'll play for us cause, so the rest of the world can hear some music Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Matt Good, boys and girls.